Hey, this poem is uh, Clancy of the Overflow uh, by Banjo Patterson. I know I'm a, an American doing this poem, so the accent's not going to be great. Uh, but uh, you Australians have a good poet in that Banjo Patterson, and, and uh, it means something uh, to a lot of people, uh, not just in Australia. So here goes. I had written him a letter, which I had for want of better knowledge, sent to where I met him down the Lachlan years ago. He was shearing when I knew him, so I sent the letter to him, just on spec, addressed as follows, Clancy of the Overflow. And an answer came directed in a writing unexpected, and I think the same was written in a thumbnail dipped in tar. Tos a shearing made who wrote it, and verbatim I will quote it. Clancy's gone to Queensland droving, and we don't know where he are. In my wild erratic fancy visions come to me a Clancy, gone a droving down the Cooper where the western drovers go. And the stock are slowly stringing, Clancy rides behind them singing, for the drover's life has pleasures that the townsfolk never know. And the bush hath friends to meet him, and their kindly voices greet him, in the murmur on the breezes and the river on its bars. And he sees the vision splendid of the sunlit plains extended, and at night the wondrous glory of the everlasting stars. I am sitting in my dingy little office, where a stingy ray of sunlight struggles feebly down between the houses tall. And the fetid air and gritty of the dusty, dirty city through the open window floating spreads its foulness over all. And in place of lowing cattle, I can hear the fiendish rattle of the tramways and the buses making hurry down the street. And the language uninviting of the gutter children fighting comes fitfully and faintly through the ceaseless trample of feet. And the hurrying people daunt me, and their pallid faces haunt me, as they shoulder one another in their rush and nervous haste. With their eager eyes and greedy and their stunted forms and weedy, for townsfolk have no time to grow, they have no time to waste. And I somehow fancy that I'd like to change with Clancy, like to take a turn and drove him where the seasons come and go, while he faced the round eternal of the cash book in the journal. But I doubt he'd suit the office. Clancy of the Overflow. Hey, thanks for watching. SouthJordanHorseLessons.com and uh, doing some cowboy poetry there for you. Uh, one of the best poems I've ever uh, ever heard is uh, is that one there. Clancy of the Overflow by Banjo Patterson. Thanks, Banjo.